Hi, Jeff. An absolute pleasure to have you here with us in London yeah. for the premiere. Maybe for people who don't know anything about bike riders, you can just give us a quick intro. Yeah, I mean, Bike Rider is, uh, is based on a book by Danny Lyon from the 1960s. He rode with a, a Midwestern motorcycle club in the U.S. and uh, he took photographs and he took interviews with them. And I use those photographs and I use those interviews to build a film out of. It basically follows a club from its kind of innocent beginning days where it was just a bunch of guys getting around to ride motorcycles and drink beer. Over the course of the 60s, it metastasized sizes into a proper biker gang. And what is it about these pictures? And I guess this whole world, the aesthetic of it all, what really interested you and what did make you want to put the story on the big screen? I got to be honest, you know, you look at Danny Lyon's photos, yeah, they're undeniable. They're super cool. Some of the coolest photos you'll ever see. But it's really the people that he talked to. You know, as a filmmaker, uh, I love human behavior. I love figuring out what makes people tick. And that's what Danny found out in the 60s. And that's what we tried to put in this film. And what and a phenomenal cast you've, you've managed to assemble. Tom Hardy, Jenny Comer, Austin Butler. Why were these the right people for your cast? And what was it like seeing them all come together on set? I mean, these are some of the greatest actors in the world that I got to work with on this. Um, and they're perfect for the parts. If you see the movie, you'll understand. But yeah, I needed, I needed in Austin, I needed someone that could compel these other two characters to change their lives. And if you take a look at Austin Butler, you understand why they would do that. Jodie Comer is one of the best actors I've ever worked with. And Tom Hardy is a force of nature. They're just the best. And in terms of the takeaways, it does feel like you are subverting some of these, you know, the glamorization of masculinity and violence, and you're kind of showing it to be ugly and pointless. And sometimes people do get caught in that cycle of it. Uh, that's 100% true. I mean, the lead character in this film is played by Jodie Comer. It's Kathy. And, you know, we have a woman kind of interpreting this world for us because the truth is she's the most insightful, she's the most introspective, and she's the funniest. So, uh, so yeah, it made sense to approach it from that point of view. These bikes scare the hell out of me. Uh, I, I won't ride the big bikes. I ride small bikes, you know. Uh, so, no, I don't know. I, I probably couldn't ride one of these bikes if, if I tried. You know, I'm lucky enough to live in Austin, Texas, and I'd probably take it all the way through the Hill Country. It's a really great place to ride. You have no idea how many Google searches it took to find a name that hadn't already been used in a motorcycle. <laughs> So I found one and I'm sticking with it. I mean, the truth is, I didn't know how lucky I was uh, when I cast Judy. You know, I, I knew about Killing Eve. Uh, my cast director had said she was incredible. I had one Zoom for her and we really hit it off. But it wasn't until I saw her on the West End in Frank Fashi, this one woman show that she was in, that I walked away and said, Oh, wow, I'm the luckiest director in the world. I got a name set my sleeve in Judy Gunner. She truly is one of the most talented actors I've ever played.